Okay, so quick announcement before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Um, I just wanted to let y'all know that me and Arlene have an official mailing address now for Nerfing Lionheart Customs. Uh, it is here. So if for any reason anyone wanted to send us stuff, um, yeah, you can send it to that P.O. box. Uh, we just set it up this year. We're being very optimistic this year because we're hoping everything will kind of go well. But yeah, just want to make that quick announcement. So, and also it will be down in the description of all videos going forward. So this way you can see it there if you ever do look there or not. But okay, so now onto the video. What's up, YouTube? Griever here, and. As you can see in this wonderful side, uh, I got the worker metal kit for the Nexus Pro. And yeah, it got here eventually. Um, as we, when we take a look at the kit on the workbench, uh, I'll explain the trials and tribulations it took me to get this thing. Uh, but this came uh, via AK Blaster Mods. Um, I did pay for this. They did not send this to me. So this is a not sponsored video and completely 100% my opinion on this thing. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at it at, on the workbench because honestly, for the parts, it'll be a lot easier for you to see it at that point. Plus, we're going to do the install on it as well. Um, what we're going to do first, though, is because I want to see how well this is going to up um, or you know, enhance the performance because besides being a part cosmetic kit, this is also a performance kit as well. Currently, the performance mods that I have on my Nexus Pro is I still have the 175 cap on here from Out of Darts. I have also upgraded the inner barrel now, uh, which is why this shroud is so much longer because uh, you can see here just peeking out of the top, I have brass in here and that came to me and I shouldn't say came to me. I did purchase it as well. I don't get sent much stuff, but uh, I got this from foam Demix on Etsy. Um, yeah. And it's actually doing really well. It's giving me very consistent readings on it, which you'll see because we're going to do an FPS test first with the brass barrel, the 3d printed connector piece and the uh, out of darts, cap on it and see what we're getting from there look at the kit install it redo the fps test with the kit see if that's hitting any differently or what the up on that one is and then i'll give you my final thoughts on it uh but yeah so first things first let's get this uh cronied and then take a look at the kit we're gonna do five shots get the average and then we'll compare that later on when we do the worker kit Okay, not bad. Five shots. It averaged about 190 with a 12 inch brass barrel and the original uh, pusher. So now we're going to get this all cleaned up and take a look at the worker kit and also do the install on it. So see you in a second. Okay, so for sake of time, as always, I've already opened up the blaster, but we're going to go over the kit first before we actually do the install obviously like i mentioned so what you get with this kit is these five main pieces you also do get um an extra o-ring a pin for your uh blood for the breach um you don't actually get any silicone grease but i got some because i know i'm going to need to at least lube that up when i change it out so what you get is you get a metal pusher which isn't very dissimilar from the one that the uh recon or not recon the retaliator uses or basically any one of those um and i did get the red kit because obvious reasons uh this also does come in a plain silver uh kit or i guess normal aluminum 
Now you get two finishes with this. Like the barrel and the breech itself have this really nice um, shiny red on it, uh, which you can see there. The actual, uh, I guess, breech itself, breech part or dart get this piece and uh, this one are actually kind of textured. So it has a more of a matte finish than the uh, glossy silverish finish. So that is actually really neat. You also do get a replacement front end cap and along with a piece of what looks like a barrel to hold it in. Um, it doesn't feel like this barrel piece comes out so it's gonna have to see if I can actually use this or not because I don't want just a metal barrel exposed on this thing so I may wind up having to try and like shroud it in some way shape or form or I may have to keep this piece in uh, I don't know yet so we'll figure that out when it, time comes because this little barrel piece is definitely not coming out and honestly I'm not too happy with that but yeah so but let's get to the install first um, this piece does obviously goes on last because it doesn't separate like the original piece it's just gonna slide right over it and it does have a set screw in there so it will hold in place which honestly is really great uh, and you also do get two Allen keys with it uh, one Oh, one's going to be for the set screw. The other is going to be for this thing, obvious, uh, to set the barrel in. So that's where that is. So, and also while I'm here, I would just like to say, um, I am not doing this because of anything that I've already upgraded. I love all the upgrades that I have for this, uh, depending on if it is of equal or a better statute, uh, chances are I will probably get a second nexus pro eventually and just put the brass barrel from here into that one because this is actually working very very well uh it also did come with a second piece a uh, second 3d printed piece for up here which actually does hold the uh the brass way better than just the loose stock piece all the reason i didn't use it is because mine was printed just a hair too thick and i just never sanded it down uh just because it is a not a fragile piece uh from what jade has explained to me is uh she does print it a little bit on the bigger side just to make sure that the print holds um i could fit it very easily with sanding it's just honestly i've just been too lazy to do it so you know it's nothing against that or anything or anything so just wanted to point that out in case you're wondering why i only have the one 3d printed part so take all of this out Ah, yes, that's right. I forgot. I did glue into the uh, spring. Ha ha. That was C-A-T smart of me. So, put those to the side there. All right, so first things first, we'll put... Well, actually, we'll set the barrel in here. We'll set the barrel first, and then we'll fit all of that in. So, to set the barrel, you just take the larger of the allen keys to loosen this up and then you're able to slide it in and it does have a stopping point which is where the breach would actually kind of come to the point on there so and for those curious this is a 12 inch aluminum barrel it's not a tight of a bore as brass but it is actually a better fit than the original aluminum tube that uh, was on here plus that was only a six inch breach so um all right so let's see here where's the ah there it is okay so aha okay so this is why you get the new piece from the with the worker kit the original piece that the uh that comes with the nexus 
it does not seat. It basically comes to a dead stop where the original aluminum barrel would be. So you do need to use the one that comes with the worker kit, which now begs me the question of, can I get this piece out? Because I have a barrel that obviously I want to use, but I don't want to use this. So bear with me one second. Okay, so one thing I found with this, is, which I was not happy with, is this actually came together. I figured, okay, it will come out. No, this is such a tight fit. It was ridiculous. Because on the listing on AK Blaster Mods, this is listed as a separate piece. So, yeah, I was able to get it separated, but it took, uh, two, it took two uh, wrenches and a bit of elbow grease. So... Not too thrilled with that, but I was able to get it loose. So now I will be able to actually use my own barrel shroud. So there's that. I'm much happier now. And of course it goes right in where the original one goes. So there's that. So you don't have to worry about the screw because you have the one that will go right in there and then there's that. Now now it's going to come the fun part of trying to separate the breeches. So that's going to be fun. So first things first, take that off. And now to figure out how to get the pin out and the best way to do that. So with a little bit of more elbow grease and my trusty hammer, I was able to get the pin loose and out. So that's the original pin, that's the original breech. Now we take the new breech, the new pin, and just fit it together. And the good thing with this one is where the actual Nexus one, the uh, uh, was it the I guess the gnarling or not what, whatever but the actual like rough edge that holds the pin in place was dead center so it was really hard to try and figure out what was the best way to do it I kind of started on one side and then I just flipped it over and I was able to get it going on the other since this just has it on the one side I'll probably just be able to fit this in and then it will just hold on the one side so I'll just have to, and you'll be able to see it because you'll actually be able to see the, which end of the pin is there if you ever do want to need or have to take it out. So, and then, what do I do on my hammer? Oh, there it is. Okay, so. Okay, and now the breech is in. So all I got to do is lube this part up and then I will close it up or put everything back together. Close it up and then I will show the installation for the rail riser. Uh, oh, this also does come with a one spare O-ring in case you guys do need it. So I'm going to finish putting this together. Again, it's going to be a straight reassembly now at this point. Uh, I just wanted to put, like I said, some... Uh, some silicone grease on here this way it gets that part all nice and taken care of and then close it up and that's just basically like my old the old video for when i had originally opened it up so i'll see you in a moment to show the installation of that okay so i'm a schmuck i completely forgot we put the barrel in and then i realized oh wait we can't put the barrel in because this wraps around the barrel so just an FYI when you're doing this. So and then slide this back over. So yeah, there we go. It's all now reassembled. So yeah, now I'm going to button this thing up and then show you the installation of the riser. Okay, so the nexus pro is all back together uh 
I just honestly the installation for this is just simple. It's once everything is together, you just slide it back on, and then with the uh, Allen key, you just tighten down the uh, retaining nut there, and it holds it in place. So yeah it's really simple this is the completed kit and what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna <laughs> uh what we're gonna do now is i'm just going to set back up for the fps readings and we'll see what this is hitting at now okay so my final thoughts on the worker metal kit for the nexus pro um it's a mixed bag for me really uh because i do like what this does to the blaster aesthetically i like the build the qual i like i like the quality of the parts um the metal riser with the exception of unfortunately i think this was uh shipping damage uh i have a small little nick right there but the i do like the metal riser it does look really nice um the red barrel is really cool uh, just because now it's basically I have all red internals in this thing or red visible internals. So it really just fits the motif perfectly. The uh, consistency that this is now hitting is surprisingly a little better uh, than with what I previously had. Um, on average, it's still the same. And also, I did speak with Jade over at Foam Demix about what I was hitting with my uh, breast breach. And she had said, oh, did you lube the breast? And I was just like, huh? Because I didn't know you are supposed to do that. Um, yeah, I know. I've only been doing this for how many freaking years. But I never really worked with breasts. So, you know, go shoot me. Um, but one of the things that is going to be a subject and a, a talking point in regards to this sorry it's cold out here and my brain stops working when i get too cold um one of the talking points for this thing is going to be the price the price for this whole kit is 60 bucks now 60 is a lot to drop on a kit um especially when it doesn't come with a spring and it doesn't come with a new um like a two uh the spring tuning cap uh, it's just the riser, the barrel, the breech, and the pusher. Now, a breech, pusher, and barrel for a retaliator kit usually goes for about like 20 or 30 bucks, depending on where you're getting it from. So, I mean, a majority of the cost for this thing is the riser itself. Now, to be completely and totally honest, you can do... You can get the performance and look of this particular kit for way cheaper because there are a bunch of people who are doing these risers. Uh, the brass barrel that I had, I think, was 10 or 12 bucks from From Demic. And it was also, again, a replacement. Um, it was a replacement breech, the brass, and also the front coupler. So, and I mean, it was obviously using the stock breach, but yeah, I mean, probably for at least like 20, maybe even 30 bucks cheaper, you can get basically this just not entirely of all metal or all aluminum, I should say. Um, but again, the quality for this is really good because again, the riser looks really nice. The red on the barrel looks really good. And they even anodized uh, the inside of the barrel too. So I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but the inside of the barrel is also red too. So it's not that they just did the red coating on the front. It's everything is red, which I'll admit that is really neat. So I guess my final thoughts on this thing are really, it's, it's kind of a mid, it's a middle of the road thing for me. It's, I'm not upset that I got this, but I am not going to be getting a second one just because of price point and that I could get the performance for cheaper. I'm just happy with this one for the cosmetics of it. So I think that's where it kind of stands. 
I'm happy with it, but I'm definitely not going to get a second one. Um, so thank you very much for joining us for this video. And as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the worker metal kit for the Nexus. Um, would you consider getting one yourself or would you just kind of stick with the, um, I, I would say cheaper alternatives for this. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious on how well this may or may not track. So especially with the love for the Nexus. So Oh, and don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here. Um, and again, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Later.